global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. We actually have very interesting news to render. This has to do with the fact that some few hours ago, our Governor Diri was trending for very, very wrong reasons. And a lot of South Africans, a lot of Nigerians living in South Africa got really worried that um, Nigerians in South Africa uh, may not be too safe over what is happening. The lawmaker, one of the lawmakers in South Africa was trending for the wrong reasons. And it looks like um, Sahara reporter Dejade Oju uh, will have a lot to explain because the first news broke out or the news started trending much more uh, uh, when this duo made it very public, you know, it became viral. But as to speak, I met a, a, a group in Niger Delta have decided to uh, send a very strong message to both the Jadeon Yu and Tara reporters over the heavy price. We're going to find out all these juicy details, how it all began, what transpired, and how it got to this level. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you say bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, according to the news, the movement for emancipation of Niger Delta, that's M E N D, MED, has expressed displeasure and anger over the news report. Published by online news organization that Sahara Reporters, in which the Bayasa State Governor Diri uh, was said to have leaked a, a video of his affair with the Speaker of the South African uh, Parliament, Zaneli Sufuba, Sifuba, while speaking or while saying that the allegation is false, fallacious, and unfounded. The leadership of MED, that's M-E-N-D, said Diri has not been in South Africa in the last 10 years, neither has he any personal affair with the speaker. In a statement on Saturday, M-E-N-D, that's MED, through his spokesman commander, Inetime, God's Power, warned Sahara reporters and activists, Deji, Adeonju to take down the news or provoke the group into leaving the creek to fish them out for severe legal and physical action. The group wondered why the activist will be sharing on his social media platforms what it described as tissue or rather what it described as issue of barefaced lie, warning that if the news is not retracted with an apology, both the publisher and the sharers will have a case to answer. He said, we are not unaware. That, let, let me quote them now. So we are not unaware that this is just an evil handiwork of politicians who are bent on maligning the image of the governor in response to their incurable envy because of the rising profile of the governor's performance. It is most unfortunate that Sahara reporters owned by a man of questionable character, Omoyele Sori, has made itself a winning tool for this shady job. This will be the last of their criminal blackmail and desperate attempt to tarnish the image of the performing governor, general of Fijian nations. This is a man who has demonstrated transformal leadership in the state. Sahara reporters, Dejade Oju, and those sponsoring them will know what defamation has, that defamation has consequences they must provide evidence and withdraw the libel that the published words in their publication with apology if not the repercussions should be serious governor general of Ijo nation is busy keeping his covenant of excellent leadership for the people and we will not tolerate mischief makers and criminal liars defame him and go scorn free the group said okay um quick one there's this video that's been moving around about um, and some person said that um Diri, governor Diri, has an idea of who the woman is that the woman here is a lawmaker in south africa nigerians have been reacting to this I, I, what i don't know is who did what i think uh, the, the the um 
the South African lawmaker or the, the security agencies in South Africa is actually investigating the matter so that it does not degenerate to a Nigerian problem so that Nigerians living in South Africa will not be targeted because it's quite a sensitive one. Uh, this is a lawmaker we're talking about here. It's not just an ordinary South African but a lawmaker and it's quite uh, annoying really. I don't know who could have done such a terrible act but whatever the case is, Diri has um, talked about it. He has um, made a public um, announcement about it that he's not the one he doesn't even know any uh, lawmaker to that effect and uh, he did not he has not been in south africa for over 10 years and he has not even he does not know anyone in fact does not have any relationship with the lawmaker much when he's south african and he has distanced himself literally from that um, write-up okay ahmed now is now speaking on his behalf also saying that this is getting out of hand politics and defamation of character should not be to their own person not to their governor who have been doing well and they are really taking it personal on both uh sahara reporters and the dj they are yet to respond to that but let's feel the pause of nigeria's concerning this this honestly this is political error but i feel that you know whatever it is not all should be fair in politics this is way too far okay except of course even if there's evidence and like some person says some nigerians are beginning to talk to say this is democracy there should be freedom of uh of of choice freedom of you know freedom of speech and that is the case of um uh, the judge you, know, you bring in evidence to that effect that it is so but let's feel the pause of nigerians anyway this one here is a lot of governor to react he's a young man he's healthy stop behaving like apc government the presidency said or the presidency or said the presidency made you can claim to know every step taken by can you claim to know every step taken by governor diri now let me quickly address this uh uh, Governor Diri has addressed this matter. Okay, he has distanced himself from it. Okay, he he has addressed it. He denied it. He doesn't know anything about it. So you telling him to address it? You want him to address it five times? Are you trying to make him over over address it? He has said it. He has said it, and that's it. He said he is not. He doesn't know anything about it. Okay, and I think what the med was doing really is to but trace the fact that this is getting out of hand and this should not be a regular occurrence as in it should not become a way of life where people will keep picking on their government well another person said that the government of bias state has actually refuted the story since two days ago so i said the same thing they actually addressed the matter and they arrested the matter just that med said to escalate it probably so that um, other people will not take it as um news and uh, or something or they will not begin to because this, the whole thing is becoming really viral and it's really embarrassing because the truth is nigerians in south africa will have to you know be a bit more careful because this is their lawmaker and i wonder why this is really going viral i, I pray that this whole investigation will be wrapped up quickly and so that whoever it is that did this will be brought to book and that person has said um some nigerian users are so disrespectful now that is why they die anyhow. Nigerian youth use the social media in the wrong direction. And this has destroyed many lives. They construct scandalous information against people without a thought. If you come to social media to spoil my reputation, I will I will sue you. Okay, but you see, Nigerians are generally saying this whole thing should, you know, I think the investigation should be quickly wrapped up. So let, let, let this matter die a natural death. Let's open wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's it?